Oh my, look at these six items from Tanya McGuire. Hey y'all, A, B, G, J, B, her. And this video brings to us hashtag same six Wednesday. We have a chocolate box. Ah, <laughs> y'all. And some little floofy fiber stuff and butterflies and lace and uh, roller decks cards and vellum. Uh, so I thought about it for a minute or five. Y'all know how it is. Oh, and uh, the little note where she explains what she sent, which I appreciate y'all sending those to y'all. Because um, y'all, mm-hmm, go to work for my little booklet we did for last month. Hashtag Same Six Wednesday. Okay, so here's our page. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I'm cutting this apart, and then I'm going to do some, uh, I'm going to sand it and put some yes paste on it. And then I'm going to adhere some of that uh, brown deli wrap to both sides. And then I rethought that. <laughs> I had a change of mind, change of idea. It happens, y'all. It happens. And that is okay. Okay? Well, if you have more peace, because I, I had way more chocolate box I could play with. So... We're, we had a change of plans. Okay. Now, I kept the other stuff, but yeah. Okay, so progressing along. Like I said, we still had a chocolate box to play with. And I thought, well, this time I'm going to paint it. Then I'm going to trim it apart. So that's what we're doing. We have white gesso. And in the white gesso, I'm just adding some acrylic craft paint. Now, it's a dark green. I didn't necessarily write down the colors other than dark green and brown and uh, pinky. It was actually called cranberry, and it's quite a lovely little shade of color there, y'all. So, here we are. Now, we're painting on our box. Guy okay. Hickin, y'all. Dried it all up. Now, we're going over it with the brown because I'm trying to match... My file folder, you know, we used a hanging file folder to make journals. So I'm sort of trying to match -ish that coloration. I think I did pretty good. Oh, hello, phone. Thank you, phone. Mm-hmm. dun dun, -dun. Uh, y'all. So, we're going along. Putting our brown on there. The green was dry. Okay? The green gesso, because we colored our white gesso you can do that you can color clear gesso too okay so now we got um a baby wipe straight up baby wipe it's um uh, kind of dryish actually i thought well i might need to replace those so my fingers were sticking so i grabbed a paper towel i had over there actually it's a napkin back if you want to be real particular about it so i'm holding my box and wiping away some of the brands so that we're getting a mottled modeled mottled variation there and uh kind of miss wiped up and touched stuff and all this kind of this that and other and so now we're just making some you know little corrections on our chocolate box y'all and then we're going to dry that some more see it matched it pretty good well you couldn't see but it was pretty quick anyway then we dry that now we have cut it apart you didn't see that part but we did and we i thought well let's put gold on the inside because we got them butterflies and they got gold on them so we're going to put some gold and i had already gessoed it and my gold is really thin gold because you know i'm so cheap <laughs> ah, y'all my gold is thin because i'm cheap and I thought, well, let's put some of this cranberry. Oh, y'all. It's a pretty color. It's red? No. Is it pink? No. It's somewhere in there. I'd put a couple of layers of gold, and I wasn't happy with how not too gold it was. So, 
we're going to make it red gold because we're putting cranberry on there, y'all. Anyway, I like dried cranberries. I do not like raisins, but I like fresh grapes. Go figure that one out. Hickin', y'all. <laughs> okay, so this is some little pocket things that's also from the, the uh, chocolate box, and we're going to put... Uh, I don't remember if we did one or two layers of the gold, but it was so pretty. I'm like, yes. And then we put some of that on the back of the big butterfly. I don't remember if I got that part in the video or edited out the video because it's plenty long, y'all. Guy, okay? it's like, well, I wouldn't say it's 30 minutes, but it's pretty near close. So now we're stamping on the roller decks cards, okay? Just haphazardly. It's a script stamp. I don't know the manufacturer. It's a script stamp, y'all. Okay? And we did both sides with black soot. And now we got our vellums. And my intention was to put the printed vellum on one side of each roller decks card and then the plain unprinted vellum on the other side of the roller decks cart but let me just say the printed vellum got on one roller decks card and therefore i had to put the solid color vellum on the other roller decks card roller decks roller decks does whatever a roller decks does there was something on there so i was scraping it off now, vellum is not happy with wet medium, so I thought, well, let's use the advanced tape glider tool, because I have it, y'all. It was a gifted to me a long time ago, and I have it, and I, I use it. So, that's what we're doing. We're doing a double-sided, permanent adhesive tape, okay? Uh... Yeah, vellum does not like wet. Now, there is some glue out there. I don't have it. I think it's barely something. I don't know. Anyway, barely is the only part of the glue name. I don't have it. Anyway, keep saying it. Keep saying it. So, we're trimming out the little sur or, um, things. Clippy, the, I don't know what it's called. The little holes where the... Uh, roller decks card will clip into stick into a roll actual roller decks okay just trimming it out more atg gun it's got a trigger on it you got to squeeze the trigger to make the tape roll and i'm just kind of rolling up any uh tape that gets stuck to my surface and here's where i grab the same roller decks card instead of the other one so now it has printed, and because I burnished it good, y'all, you want to burnish this stuff. Um, the other one, I did the same thing with the plain um, vellum, <laughs> y'all. So I had tore my little uh, butterfly body slightly. So I reinforced it with a little strip from my little scrap box right there. And by scrap box, I meant the, the stuff that's going in the recycle bin. But it was like perfect size, so I used it. And now we're going to use our purta lace, y'all. It's purta, purta, purta lace. I wonder if she tied that, she being Tanya McGuire, who sent these same six items, who was also the hostesses of the same six Wednesday. Oh, it's round four, by the way, y'all. We've done this three other times. And I just have so much fun. I feel so challenged in a good sort of way. You know, sometimes you can get uh, pressured in a good way. Okay, makes you thinky. Anyway, I wonder if the lace was dyed in avocado because it's almost an avocado pink looking lace but i don't know that for sure she probably say so in her video for this month same six wednesday so be sure to tune in and she will tell us probably more about the ch items she chose for us i didn't tell you anything about the items i chose well i did a little bit but you know that's just how it was it was last month y'all june 
Okay, so now we're we're using our fabric fix and we're squishing that down with the little silicone uh, brush thing from the Dollar Tree when it was a dollar. <laughs> I know I'm loving to say that for years, you know. The new library used to be the courthouse. Where's the new library? Where the courthouse used to be? That kind of thing. So I got out of Tim Holtz doll because. Tim Holtz paper dolls, y'all. And uh, I didn't like the bow in her hair, so I cut it out. And now we're fixing the little little bit of the white bow that was in there uh, to make it blend into and look look like hair. So we got a black Posca, which I did not put in the list of ingredients, which is in the description box, along with links to my other same six Wednesday peoples. There's five other people. There's six of us all together. Just saying. Because, you know, third Wednesday, y'all. Any hoobles. So we got her all fixed up. And I'm like, well, we need to rosy up her cheeks. So in a minute, I'm going to get out my uh, archival Rose Matter. M-A-D-D-A-R. Rose Matter Inc. And we're going to put little blushes on her cheeks and little blushes on her little lips. They're tiny, teeny, tiny lips, y'all. And uh, we're going to put some on the little flowers because she's holding a bouquet. A bucket. A bouquet. Flowers. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can't see. I don't even think it's really visible in the photo montage, which is coming up in another two days. Um, in this particular video, we're going to be here a minute, y'all. Uh, some of the stuff didn't make me happy, so I was erasing it with the damp uh, brush. Tiny brush. Well, not really tiny, just really small brush. So she's going to go there. At first, I was going to put her somewhere else. And then when I folded it up, I'm like, oh, she needs to go right there in the middle so we can see her sweet face. So we're gluing her on. Mm -hmm. Oh, now my tummy's going to growl. <laughs> I should put the microphone right on it next time I feel it coming so you can hear it. Anyway, there we go. Dobbling off the excess glue with the napkin back. Because, you know, when you peel your napkins, you need to keep the backs of them. You can do other stuff with them, but I tend to use them to, you know, wipe a, my damp and wet brush off on it. Oh, that's so cute. Wait till we put the butterfly on. Here it comes. Look. Oh, uh, y'all. I am really happy with how this uh, page spread came out. Okay? Just yes really happy and i did not get the whole journal making thing filmed because i kept him hawing and changing things around so things got a little convoluted but if you're interested drop me a message facebook instagram the twitters comments below and uh i will show you that that will be uh, at the end -ish of the same six Wednesday. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll do it before the end of it. Because, you know, this is going on till December, y'all. Third Wednesday of each month will bring to us hashtag same six Wednesday round four. So I was trying to trim off the little thing because it the little white stuck up too far. And then I thought, well, I got smart. And I'm just like, put some gold paint on it. And I have some uh, word captions that I had in my little box. Because y'all know I got a box of stuff over there. Words and happiness. And uh, we inked around it with the rose matter. And then I think I inked around it with black soot. Because that's just like, what? Oh, looks so good when you double ink around stuff like that just saying because my opinion what can I say so this is not part of the inside caption but I still wanted to use it I'm like no this is going on this page too I could put more words on this page but I didn't I refrained it myself I'm like hold on there APG just don't overdid it guy okay? I don't think I did, but I could still do it because there's plenty of room 
for additions on this particular spread, which you'll see later at the end in a couple of days. I know, still a couple of days. And I'm like, oh, we need some diamonds on that lace. Need some diamonds. So, get the diamonds out. I'm like, which one do we want to use? Which color? Do we want to use the goldish one or the, the clear white one? Silver. I guess it's silver and not white. But anyway, I'm like, we're going with this one. Do we want a big one or do we want the little ones? And I decided on the little ones. They're not teeny tiny, but they're almost teeny. Well, they're pretty teeny tiny. <laughs> not as teeny tiny as some other ones in the box. So we're going to do this for the next 15, 20 minutes. Putting diamonds all over the lace. Because it needs diamonds. Well, it didn't need them. I, won't, I wanted them. Let's be perfectly clear. I wanted them. Now, I had initially thought of a way to make that little flappy thing be a closure. But when I added the butterfly, I lost that option. And now, and then in a little while, I'll be like all confused because I'm like, how am I going to close my little flap? Because I want my little flap closed. But how am I going to close it, y'all? I figured it out. You'll see. You get to see that part. After we add million diamonds. Oh, y'all, it's so cute. It's so flashy, flashy. Okay, so put those up. Now, here we're going to make a little closure do lolly. You know how you wrap a um, string around uh, like a policy envelope or an inner office interlope? <laughs> Notice how I changed that right there? Okay. So, here we go. We're making... Um, the little disc that you wrap the string around. We'll get to the string. We're going to use the same red string that we bound uh, the journal together with. You should see that part. It's, it's actually embroidery floss, not string. And uh, it's on uh, the first spread that I did last month in June. It's on, uh, we put some on there. So I guess we're going to have to put some of that on ever page i don't know if that color will work on ever page but we'll see how it goes y'all see how it goes so we got all our hose punch and i've got a couple little eyelets and one of them i drop or throw on the ground i don't know which it was it's just like uh, disappeared so we got our embroidery cloth uh cloth floss it's floss y'all Cut to what I think is going to be the right uh, thing, <laughs> right length. Because, you know, once I glued it down, it was like, well, I kind of hope that was the right length. It was. So we're putting our little eyelid in there. That's a, a handheld, um, I think it's called a crop a dial. There's the big one, too. I like that one, too. But, you know, this was just a little job. So we're just going to use the little handheld one. So there we go, smashing it all at, smashing, over smashing one of the eyelids, but that's okay, I kept it, it's, it's like, it's fine, it's perfect, as a matter of fact, it's perfect, it's better than fine. So I don't know what I'm doing off screen, I don't know, nothing, something, oh, I thought, well, I want to staple these other little pocket do lollers we're going to do, but they need to be gold and not silver like the staples are and i thought well let's just color paint them staples gold so we got out this really fancy gold pen and it's actually i think what it has in it is an enamel oil type stuff um if you put it on raw paper unsealed paper it will kind of bleed out a little bit just saying it but i love the pen anyway here can y'all Go be careful because these are metal and they're going to be hot. That's why I'm holding it with that other little thing. And I'm going to touch it and move it, but I'm careful. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Anywho, back to our blank page spread. And I was going to initially put that on the inside. And I thought, no, I like that little angly, weird looking, unusual thing because it's unusual, y'all unexpected even so 
We're gluing down the flap. Notice I didn't glue the bottom. We're going to staple it. Okay. This is a hanging file folder. So this would be appropriate for a hanging file folder. Well, maybe not a folder, but stuff in a folder to be stapled. So we're doing that. Okay, those are nice and coolish. And I'm putting them back in my little tiny stapler. It's not a tiny stapler, but it's a little stapler. Okay. And I'm trying to do it like that and trying to line it up. And it keeps slipping and flopping around. And in a minute, I'm going to get smart and actually put it down. It didn't staple. Anyway, put it down on the actual surface. It's like, yes, I like that. I like it a lot. I still have got gold in there. I was just checking to make sure if I didn't need to paint up any more gold staples. So each one's getting two, and that's enough to hold a little bottom together, which is probably better than glue, or should maybe be, could be used in addition to glue, on account of it is heavy-ish chocolate box. Remember, it's a chocolate box, y'all. And I'm like, yeah, I like them like that better. So that's how they're going to go. Are we, are we fixing to glue them? We're going to glue them on, and then all of a sudden I was like, make the pockets! a pocket okay and i'm like yes because more pockets and then i noticed my staples weren't smashed smashed so i got out some little jewel replier thingies and we smashed them down real good y'all because yeah glue let's stick it on there yeah just eyeballing it. it's like perfect Glue. Oh, that one stapled, misstapled. So we're going to have to pull it out and re-staple it. And hopefully we have one more gold staple. Okay. Which we did. <laughs> Yay, gold staples. Smash them, smash them good. Now put the glue on there. Okay. Okay. You see how well that color matches. I just am just like, what? Pretty close. Look how that gold edge is shining. I'm just lining it up. I'm not measuring nothing. I'm just kind of making sure they're kind of in the same kind of line. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Put some weight on it. We'll wait for it. Okay. Now here comes our upper flap. And I thought about making it a pocket, and then I thought, no, because I have the, the embroidery floss string back there, and that would uh, impede something from sliding in and out easily of the pocket. Impede would hamper, would make it less easy to get in and out even, y'all. So, gluing on our strings at about even is about even enough for me. So now we're putting our heavy duty Aileen's original tacky glue on the back of our flap. Ah, smooshing it around. I want the whole thing on there. I don't want to necessarily glue the little lace stuff, although I guess I could have. Boy, my tummy's going to growl again or act like it anyway. So now flipping our strings inside. I know I glued the words in there and y'all didn't get to see them yet, but you will. Just wait for it. Speaking of waiting for it, let's wait for this. <laughs> you get that play on words. So now we're going back to our little roller decks cards and our smaller butterflies. Man, we got a set of three butterflies. I counted that as one thing because it's a set of butterflies, in my opinion. So I got these teeny, teeny, tiny paper clips off the Amazon, y'all. I'll try to remember to put a link to them in the description. I am not an affiliate, affiliate <laughs> or affiliate either, for that matter. So we're, we cut our little fiber, because don't forget, we have fiber to use. And we're, we looped it onto the tiny paper clip and these teeny tiny paper clips are hard to use they're very fiddly fiddly y'all okay so we got it looped on there and i'm like wait 
let's pull some of our red embroidery floss into our little floofles on our paper clips. And I'm like, okay. So we cut some of that off. It's shorter than our other fancy fiber. And we're just going to put the loop in there. And we pulled all the tails through the embroidery floss loop. Okay. You don't see it because I cut it out. I put a teeny tiny drop of art glitter glue on the little loopy floppies guy okay, to hold them more butter in place. If someone wanted to pull this off, they would have to be real good at messing with fiddly stuff. Oh, there we are showing the glue. Ta-da! Glue! <laughs> I thought in my head I cut it out. But there we go. Glue! Little teeny tiny on the little teeny tiny paper clips. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to put the paper clips on the butterflies. All right. But first I had to go over there and like, well, how do I want them in the pocket? And then while I was over there, I thought, well, let's cut these little taggy roller decks cards because they're roller decks card tags um, on the angle because I like that. It's another unexpected thing. So we went and we did that, and we figured out where we wanted them in the pocket. And I'm trying to figure out, what am I doing here? So really, I probably should have put the paper clip on the roller deck card, then slid the butterfly in it. But no, I like to do things the hard way sometimes. Okay, so we manhandled it onto the butterfly, then gently slid it on the roller deck card tag thingies. Okay. Okay, they are just paper clipped on there. They are not glued. Look, aren't they cute? Oh, here we come. We're showing you now. Here we go. Here's our page. So the little roller decks card tags slide out. And see, there's a little pocket right there in the front and one in the back. So it's three pockets in one. Okay, and here's our little flop down. Watch, watch, watch. Ta-da! <laughs> Oh, y'all, it just, just tickles me, and I'm so happy. Makes me happy, y'all. So do each and every one of you. I appreciate y'all. Y'all. So we're going to put that back in there. Look at our little fibers. Oh, that's so sweet. Makes me stinking happy. And you can ride on it because it's vellum, so you can ride on it. Even with the pencil. Some photo montage. <laughs> Be sure to visit all five of my fellow Same Six Wednesday Earths. <laughs> Be sure to like, kind comment, share their videos with your friends. And subscribe to their channels if you're not already subscribed. Because we all like that. We all need more subscribers, y'all. We all need more views. I appreciate each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. And happy artin', y'all. Same six. Wednesday.